Welcome everybody to another ASCW player cast. This is a cast we do uh, where fans send in replays. Uh, players send in their replays, not necessarily in the ASCW tournament, and we'll go ahead and cast them. It's uh, myself, of course, Tumba, and Newbie McNoob is with me today, and we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, one of the Pika Perfection clan members, Hippie John Yo, has constructed a map and asked that we go ahead and sort of critique it. So myself and the world's greatest observer slash caster, Newbie McNoob, <laughs> are going are gonna to go through it and uh, sort of critique the map as, as the game goes on. And if you want to leave your comments, awesome. Uh, feel free to do so as uh, Hippie John Yo wants to make this the best map possible. So what do you think, Newbie? You want to get into this? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let me. Um, I'm on zero zero. Are you on zero zero? I am on zero zero. Okay, we're gonna skip the fancy intro because we don't need it, and uh, we'll go straight to live. See that wonderful mirror in mirror image of XSplit. Uh, we'll count down three, two, one, and go. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so. Uh, Taking a look at the nameplates, uh, this is the Lamb Chop and Voldemort. Oh, newbie, have you ever must not be named? Have you ever cast with Voldemort on? At... Uh, I have not. I have not. I've seen. I've heard him cast uh, on Mondays. Manlings, manlings. Yeah. That's where I got the manlings from. Ling on <laughs> ling on ling action. So, uh, at the moment you said that uh, on my screen, Voldemort said "lol." That's awesome. So that was perfectly timed. Perfectly timed. Um, you know what, newbie? You know you play too much Team Fortress when uh, Team Fortress Two when you're when you're watching a replay and your fingers are on the W A D buttons. Oh yeah, no, I do that all the time. <laughs> like Good, maybe, maybe like, even playing StarCraft. I'm like, oh, W A S D. Maybe that's a uh, a good sign for my obsing then, as uh, I need you to give me another good obsing lesson. So, um, newbie, being that you are the uh, resident expert on um, not just on gaming but more of obsing and since uh, and sincerely you're so good at that, uh, I, I think that it would be best off and most beneficial uh, to Hippie John Yo if if you went ahead and, and critiqued the map a little bit initially. Okay. Um, so I kind of like the overall design. I think it's very solid. It's not uh, amorphous at all. It's kind of very set up. There's you got your three bases. Um, which are very easily held, so it's it's, it's kind of looks like he wants to do three base play, but at the same time the rush distance doesn't say that. The rush distance says, "Hey, you should one base." Right. Um, because you know you can do a two racks on a zerg and really do really well. Um, so I think that's one thing you have to take the point that zerg needs that rush distance to be able to get up that second expo um, unless the Terran does some you know something crazy I'm, I'll tell you what I like okay I think this would be a very good map for lower league players and I don't mean that in any way to insult the map I mean it can be a great map for higher league players as well oh yeah but kind of, here's what I'm saying okay the if you're looking on the left side there's some destructible rocks uh, at the natural but it's an island natural so it's a little bit more well guarded than most naturals would be, so it allows almost like a free expansion there. Yeah. Um, which is cool, right? Because that's going to lend yourself to get into a macro game. And then you can take your third here to the north, and there's those that, those little bit of destructible rocks. What's cool about it is it's sort of a narrow choke there. So that's not necessarily yeah. uh, undefendable, if you will. Um, I'd love to see a PVZ on this map. I think it'd be really cool, but I think I am concerned with the rush, rush distance. And of course, by the way, ladies and gentlemen that are watching, um, there are no aesthetics right now. This is the alpha stage of this map. Um, so, essentially, it's about gameplay right now, and looks will come later. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think I saw some shrubbery. I don't... That's I Monty, have, Monty Python my... reference there? Shrubbery! Shrubbery. Must bring us... Oh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's leaves. Never mind, it's um, vision leaves. So you can't see the... Um... Like, it's a gameplay thing. It's not, a, not an aesthetics thing. Right. So, um... Another thing that I don't really like is this giant, like, platform near the gold bases that like, looks like an arrow, almost like a space invader. So, I feel that, I don't know, I'd have to actually work out some stuff on this map. I'd have to take some siege tanks, um, some colossi, some other things, but I'm pretty sure you can 
siege the um, Zelnaga from the very corner of both of those. Well, and it, so I rotated the camera, and not to cut you off, but it does look just like a space invader. And, <laughs> and you can also blink stalkers up there and rain hell from above, but go ahead. Yeah, I think it gives the players a lot of room to um, abuse that. Drop tanks. Yeah, like siege up. all sorts of stuff. Like, so let's say you want to take this gold and you're a Terran player and you're versing a Protoss. Like, you can essentially just have free reign of this base. You put Especially an SCV if you, up there. If you, if you morph to a planetary. Oh, yeah, you put an SAV, SCV up there, have a bunch of siege tanks, have like two or three siege tanks. You have a siege line that can't be hit unless they have Colossus and are like specifically going after those. I'll be honest with you, too. I would take the cold of the other player, simply because if I was a Terran, um, and I, I morph a planetary right there, I just I just have the map. I'm on your side of the map with a planetary and siege line on a, yeah. on a high yield. I don't know if that's the best design, necessarily, but it'd be cool to see. Yeah, I think there's a lot of room for this map to grow. I li like I said before, I like the general um, like shape. It's a very cool little thing you get your two ba you get your three bases so you can macro but at the same time it just looks like this the short rush distance and these giant platforms are so abusable that it might not ever get to that point you know what it sort of reminds me of is like arena football it's not as big as a regular football field <laughs> you're gonna, you know, you're gonna see but people. It's like twice as brutal. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, you're gonna see people get jacked up. It's just like lots of minerals really quickly, smash heads in the middle. Uh, I think it could definitely stand to be lengthened. Uh, just, just watching the supply roll mm -hmm. out of the Terran base, it's a quarter of the way to the opponent's base. Just, yeah, just like... coming out. I mean, mm -hmm. I understand he wants a short rust dis distance. That's sort of the point of what it's going for. Because so many maps are focused on being big, huge maps. And I think the trick is making a small map where Zerg isn't at such a disadvantage that yeah. they can't get to a second base. I, I think that's what Metalopolis does really, really well. It's one of the reasons that I, I really like that map. is it's, It can be both long rush distance so that you can have that huge macro game. But on the close air positions, it's not that far. Well, I think that's what he's going for here is an alternative to metal. Um, mm -hmm. I think he needs to implement a little bit more of what makes metal work. Um, in, in saying so, maybe different spawn points rather than straight across. Uh, maybe spawn cross position. Yeah, I think the spawn cross position is pretty normal for maps. And he might just want to be like, oh, well, I want this map to be somewhat different. And but I think cool, I think that's a difference. Again. Difference for the sake of being different, though, isn't always. A yeah. Good, is that what you're? I mean, do you agree? Yeah, with? that's kind. Of, that's kind of what I'm going for. Right. You know, yeah. It's not that it makes it bad, but you know, I don't think that being different on um, for the sake of being different is so much a good idea. Right. Um. Yeah, I think if you change it to spawn uh, cross position, and you you lengthen it just a a, a tad. See, I think the thing with metal that makes metal so great, and again, you don't want to copy metal, right? I mean, because that's sort of pointless. Yeah. Um, you, you want the sort of the nuances that make the map work, and there's nothing to say that this is ever going to be a GSL map or a, a any type of map, an MLG yeah. map. It's a map that's supposed to be fun. So uh, the point of this map, the point of the reason with this map was to add a fun, balanced map. Um, having said that, I think it also has room for... Uh, for some interesting stuff, like being able to go ahead and siege on this high ground over this high yield. You know, going ahead and be able to blink stalkers in and out of there and stuff like that. Uh, hold a little army up there. Um, you know, I, I sort of like that. That's yeah, I, ju I just think that it's a little big. That's that's my only complaint. Yeah. It's just a little, like, you can abuse it, and that, that's great. Like, if you can take a gold base relatively safely, that's great. But but, 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 I think it's way too abusable. Like, to the point where um, you can basically force your opponent to engage in that area and just have this unbreakable siege line or all of these units up on a high ground and just get a ridiculous advantage. This map would be very good for Protoss. Very good for Protoss. Just because 
the Colossi with extended thermal lance mm -hmm. would do would it's such a short map and you're easily on two base. Two base Colossus is very strong. And um, if you can get up to that that area you can cliff walk and sort of abuse the terrain so well. Yeah. And I think that's really what you got to look for in these maps, because I don't, I don't think there's really a map where you sit there and you say, well, this is bad because, like, it's designed badly, and then you have to say, why is it designed badly? And oh, Voldemort's saying that there's way too many rocks. I don't think. Uh, I don't know. Two. Two. Uh, that's not no more than usual. I was gonna say, and you know, Blizzard loves their rocks. Yeah. But, uh, no, you need the rocks at the third, obviously, which mm -hmm. which actually he took as his second. Um, the Lamb Chop took as his second. I don't know why. I would think you would want to take, I guess because there's no rocks to destroy there. But if you want to, you know, a really safe, if you want to go the uh, really safe route, you could just get the one uh, directly south. Yeah. Oh, is but... this, is Voldemort building a command center in the middle of the map? Or, yeah, he is. <laughs> see, yeah, this map would be easy to abuse, I think. And we're going to see what yeah. you're talking about, I think, with this. Here come the siege tanks. Yeah, I think it's a little too easy to hold this middle ground. Um, however, I would, I think if the map was shifted so spawn points are cross position, and the map was based around that... Like, so he he took off certain things. He made, let's say that the second...